this is the best way I can put it, is that acting is bad acting. Good acting is just authentic behavior. Being. Just being. Mm. Authentic behavior. If you're acting and it's apparent that you're acting, then that's bad acting. Because a good actor, you, 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 you're so, you, you, you're so, like, you believe the reality of their performance that you're not even aware that this person is acting. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. So it's just about authentic behavior. Now, the question is, the, the, sometimes a role is very similar to, to, to how, to, you know, like for the roles I've had, I've had roles that weren't that much of a stretch because they were so similar to me. The Kevin Hart as roles. As a person. The right? Dwayne Johnson roles. Right, where it's like made for you, right? Mm. And then there's sometimes roles that are completely different than, than uh, uh, you know, like think about like Daniel Day-Lewis where like, it's just like, you just completely disappear. You know what I mean? It's like completely like yep. somebody else. You know, if you're playing a role, like, you know, like, you know, Gangs of New York. Where yeah. you're, it's like, I don't know what it's like to be a fucking like, like cutthroat gangster in, eight, in 1868. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Even but, like Mah McConaughey, you know I mean? Dallas Buyers Club, like all those play, right. all those roles where the actor envelops themselves so much totally. and, and just turns totally. into that Heath Ledger, person. the Joker. You know what I'm saying? But then you also have actors like Keanu Reeves, who he's always Keanu. Typecast. Well, no, no, no. I mean, it's like, he's always being himself. Sure, and sure. Like oh, he, it, you know it, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. He's always Keanu and he's, and he fucking kills it. Yep. And he's, and he's an amazing actor. You know what I'm saying? So like th there's different ways of going about it, but, but no matter what, you have to behave authentically, mm. right? So, but sometimes that authenticity might be more of a stretch versus less of a stretch, right? But either way, even if you're playing a role that is completely like the opposite of you, right? If I'm if I'm doing a role that it has like is completely different than how I really am as a person, you still have to create an authenticity within yourself that is going to ring true even though you know that that you don't have anything in common with that character mm -hmm. that's, right yeah and i think that's the biggest measure that separates uh mediocre or good actors from stellar and and legendary actors is how far can you deviate from who you are in this life to your role exactly. right and so like you see these people like heath or like even Robin, Daniel, Robin Daniel Williams, Defoe, De, Defoe or, or uh, Lewis Williams or Defoe, any sorry. of those guys, right? Mm -hmm. William Defoe, mm -hmm. um, any of those guys. And they mm -hmm. are able to deviate so fucking far mm -hmm. from who they are. They mm -hmm. can get ugly. They can get skinny. They can get fat. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Christian Bale is yeah, another one that's exactly. fucking insane exactly. at it, totally. right? Totally. Do you think that ability like you is not teachable? No, it's definitely teachable. Got it. It's definitely teachable. Are you sure? Anybody can be an actor, anybody, okay? It just comes down to two things. Number one, do you have respect for the craft, okay? Do you truly respect the art form? Do you have the discipline to actually put in the work to master your craft? That's number one. Number two is do you have the proper knowledge for getting into the industry and actually getting ahead in your career? You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. Be because there's like, there's incredible actors out there but you know, like they're never gonna, they're never gonna be known. They're never gonna be, you know, like successful on a massive scale. They might just be, you know, do plays like their whole life in, in London or Broadway or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they're probably completely content and happy with that. So it's nothing against that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have a true passion for the craft, you, you like I, my dad, for example, he like has always told me that he would have been just as happy just doing small plays. Like, mm. like you know what I mean? Never getting any recognition because that's how much he loves it. 